Hello and thank you for watching my video. So I finally got to try open back headphone for the first time in my life. Namely, the EPOS H6 Pro open back version and the Hi-Fi Man Deva Pro here with the Bluetooth dongle. Now I've used both of these headphones extensively for the last month or so. So I decided to make a pros and cons list on why you should use an open back headphone and why you should not. Hit that like button for me and end up liking this video. Subscribe to my new channel to help my new channel grow. And with that, let's get into it. First, let's talk about what these headphones are good for. I am not an audiophile. I'm just an average guy looking to get enjoyment out of audio. Therefore, please let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with me on any of my view on the sound. I'll be interested to know. Let's talk about the H6 Pro here. This is most definitely set up um, for gaming. It comes with a mic and this mic is here is actually detachable. You can take it off and it comes with a play here. You can just put it on, it becomes a regular headphone. It's a very, very well designed headphone here. Okay. And I will do a mic test that I will, I will link after this segment here. So you can hear what this mic sounds like. These are also great for listening to music as uh, especially when you use this with a good DAC amp combo. But I feel like um, they work just fine if you just plug them directly into the controller on your PS5. Now it does come with a uh, PC splitter cable uh, as well in the package. So you can use this on your PC with no issues at all. Pretty much anything with a 3.5 millimeter uh, input you can use these headphones with. So nothing really much else to talk about from that front. And now you're hearing the microphone from the EPOS H6 Pro open back version. I have it plugged in directly to the back of my motherboard using the uh, provided uh, cable they have for the PC. I don't have a closed back version of this headphone, so I don't know if the microphone on the open bag was sounding different. I mean, I highly doubt it. Um, I don't think that would make a difference there, but I could be wrong. Anyway, this is the microphone test, EPOS H6 Pro open back. The Deva Pro wireless with the Bluetooth uh, dongle here. I think a lot of people call these like an entry level audiophile headphone. Um, once again, I'm not big into audiophile stuff, so I can't really deny nor confirm that claim. <laughs> Now, I tested these with my PC, PlayStation 5, and my Steam Deck for gaming. I didn't test this, for, I, didn't, I did not want to uh, discuss too much about the Xbox because to simply put, you have to wire these in with, to, to the Xbox. There's really nothing that uh, works with the Xbox from my experience. And I, and I made a chart here with my findings as far as compatibility goes. And as you can tell, there's some interesting aspects with this headphone when it's using uh, for gaming purposes. I find that using the Deva Pro straight up with the, the included 3.5 millimeter cable just, just like this, I would not recommend it. I almost feel like this headphone was designed with the Blue Mini uh, DAC amplifier here in mind. Now, the reason why I call this a DAC amplifier because I think this not only is a Bluetooth dongle that can uh, send audio, uh, uh, re uh, receive audios from your source, this is also almost like a built-in amp that uh, Hi-Fi Man has incorporated into. Unfortunately for the PS5, that's just not possible because the PS5 does not recognize Bluetooth audio, nor it recognizes um, this dongle, if you use the, if you plug it in directly with the USB-C, okay, it doesn't recognize it as an audio source. I don't know why. Uh, very similar to the Xbox. However, the difference is the PS5 does recognize this particular DAC. This is the Fossey K5 Pro Gaming DAC. Xbox does not recognize this, by the way. You can plug this into your PS5 or your Steam Deck or the Nintendo Switch for that matter, and they will recognize it as an audio source. And then you can plug in your Deva Pro 
uh, the, with the included cable directly into the uh, the audio the uh, headphone port here, and this makes a tremendous amount of difference when gaming on a console, and I highly recommend it. Now the Blue Mini itself does have a mic, but I'm not going to uh, do a mic test on these because these sounds pretty bad. They're used they're you they're designed for using a pinch when you're on your phone. It's like if you're listening to music on your phone and then you get a phone call, if you just want to talk on it real quick. Yeah, I think these are good for that. But otherwise, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend this mic for anything else besides that. Let's start with the first pro with these open back headphones. And hear me out, okay? Outside sounds and noises are audible. Whenever someone, such as my wife, wants to come talk to me and I'm wearing these open backs, all I do is turn the volume down just, just a smidge and I can hear her without taking the headphones off. And to me, that's a pro because with a closed back, oftentimes, I have to take the headphone off because otherwise her sound comes in as very muffled. I don't have the greatest hearing already. But with these open backs, there's no issues. I just leave them on. She comes in, we talk, and then we're on our way. No problems. Another thing is, when it comes to eating or drinking, if you're eating or drinking while you're gaming or listening to music, whatever, when you use a closed back headphone, sometimes you can hear, almost hear yourself chewing or drinking. And to me, that's kind of annoying. With these open backs, I don't experience that. And I really like that. If you're someone that regularly eats or drink with your closed back headphones, you, you know what I'm referring to here. I hope you do. And lastly, I find open back headphones great to be used when you are outside, say you're outside walking or jogging or running. Cause I think for safety reasons, you kind of want to hear your surroundings a bit. Sometimes with closed backs, the sounds gets really muffled and I don't think it's good for safety. Now, these, both of these headphones are quite large. So I don't know if I recommend these for outdoor running, but I did take them out for walks and I think they're great. And simply put, the first con is also correlates with our first pro. You're able to hear outside noises with these open backs. Um, I've heard some people say you can't really truly get the full audio experience of open backs because you have outside noises coming in. Okay. I can't confirm nor deny that because in my in my personal surroundings, I think these open back sounds great for everything I've heard. Okay. Maybe it's just some, maybe just some audio fighters just nitpick about their sounds, which is fine, but I'm not one of those persons. I'm just telling you from my personal experience only. Also, open bags are just not suited for public places. Like, I could never wear these in my office when, when there's other people around me. Because if, if I'm wearing these and I have the music blasting, believe me, everybody around you will be able to hear what you're, <laughs> what you're listening to. And to me, that's just not courteous in a public setting. I wouldn't want other people to do that, nor would I do it to other people. Therefore, these are pretty much designed only for in-home use when you're in a quiet room. And I understand, that's just not possible for some people. On with our second pro. The tone is cleaner than clothes bags. And what do I mean by that is... And I don't want to turn this into an audio file video when I'm talking about the highs and the lows and the charts and all that, okay? Well, I'm just telling you from my personal experience. I feel like with these open backs, the bass are not as harsh and the highs are not as scratchy compared to some of the closed backs that I've listened to. Now, I don't have an extensive library of closed back headphones to compare these to. I'm only telling you from an experience from an average person on an average use. Personally, I cannot stand when the bass, that sounds so muffled and harsh. And it's just not enjoyable to me when I'm listening to music or playing games for that matter. Okay. And I didn't get that with these open back headphones. My first impression when I started using them is, wow, the bass is really clean. They kind of come and they go. They don't linger. They don't hurt my ears. Overall, I find the tone to, of these to be a very enjoyable experience. Your opinion may vary depending on what you have, equipment that you have used. Therefore, we this may not be valid, valid for you. And that's okay.
and the second con of these headphones. Perhaps due to the nature of the design of these headphones being open back, I think I think the volume just seems to be a little bit lower than the closed back headphones in general. This leads to the fact that I believe an external amp really makes a difference for the for both of these headphones, for music listening or for gaming. Okay, even something like that Fosse amp that I showed earlier, this is only like an eighty dollar amp, I believe. And even something like this makes a huge difference in the quality of sound for both of these headphones. Now, I'm not here to recommend you a particular DAC or amp that you should use. All I'm telling you is, I believe for both of these headphones, I recommend you getting an external DAC amp combo, whatever it is that you're comfortable with to use with these, because they do make a difference and I recommend it. Now the Deva Pro with this Bluetooth dongle, I feel like this Bluetooth dongle acts like an amp in itself because when you are using this wirelessly or plug it in with the USB-C into your PC, the sound of these compared to not using it. Okay. Or if, you, if, if you're just using this without an amp with our DAC, just directly wire the sound of it is, is just makes a huge difference and like i stated earlier i would not use this headphone without this dongle nor without an external amp okay if you're not using a dongle that i definitely recommend an amp as a matter of fact i think either use it with a dongle or use it with an amp okay uh, i wouldn't use it without either one for this particular headphone that really brings the sound to life and really brings the total overall quality. And I cannot recommend it enough. Now I wanna, now from my chart that I showed you earlier, okay, you can use this dongle with the Steam Deck wirelessly. And for me personally, uh, just because of the convenience factor, the Steam Deck being a handheld, uh, I don't believe that, uh, that the sound difference from wiring it through the USB-C really makes that big difference. I think the convenience factor in that wins out for the Steam Deck. But for the PC, I would definitely, if you don't have an external amp deck combo, I would definitely use the USB-C wiring from the dongle instead of using the enclosed 3.5 millimeter cable. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately for the PS5, since the, the console does not recognize the dongle, via wire USB-C nor uh, Bluetooth, uh, I recommend you getting an external DAC amp for to, that's compatible with the PS5 to use with the Deva Pro to truly get the uh, full potential out of it. I cannot recommend this headphone for the PS5 just directly wire with the 3.5 millimeters. And, but that's just from my personal experience. A6 Pro, however, um, I think it's passable if you just plug it in with the, directly into the controller in the PlayStation. But once again, a DAC amp does make a big difference. For our final pro for the open backs, from a gaming standpoint, I find these open backs to be tremendous for open world games such as Elden Ring, um, The Witcher 3, What's another game comes by my cyberpunk, even some game like cyberpunk. When I was playing Elden Ring um, with these, they, you can hear the surroundings. You can hear just, it just feels so immersive with these open back headphones, more so than a closed back, I believe. Everything just feel like just the sound stage is just all around you. Even a game like cyberpunk, when I was using this with cyberpunk, you could hear people talking next behind you. You can really feel like you're walking on the street of a nice city and you can really feel like you're in the city with these and i think it's great and i truly truly recommend both of these open back headphones for that type of game even like an rpg type of game same thing once again open back rpgs single player type of game etc etc highly recommend it and our final con leads right into what I was talking about earlier. While these are great for open world gaming, they're not so great for competitive gaming, such as Halo 3, Destiny, uh, Counter-Strike. I tried them out with both, all three of those games. And I find that a closed back headphone, such as 
this Corsair Virtuoso XT here to be much better suited for that type of competitive games. And the reason why I feel that way is because I feel like I can hear my uh, the, the gunshots and the enemies and grenades and explosions and the the footsteps footsteps right that's what the, all the rage is nowadays like, i hear the footsteps um with these clothes back are just so much more cleaner with that close back headphone as opposed to open back like i said earlier open back the sound kind of come in and they go so for competitive game i don't think it's i i, I don't recommend these but they're definitely doable and i think they're good it's just not as good as a close back headphone. If you're truly looking for a good PvP experience, I think I would recommend a close back headphone over both of these open backs. If you're looking for something that's more geared towards for PvP gaming, which I'm not great at and I don't spend a lot of time with them, I would recommend this Corsair Virtuoso XT over either of these two open backs on the PC. So in conclusion, to wrap up this video, do I recommend open back headphones and will I be getting more in the future? The answer is yes to both of them. As someone that mainly plays open world games, single player um, RPG type of, type of games, these headphones are great and I cannot recommend them enough. And to add a little something to that, the Deva Pro works great for music across all genres. Now. That's pretty obvious since these headphones are probably designed with music in mind. And I tested out through all type of genres, you name it, rock, techno, R&B, rap, whatever. And they perform great. Now, if there's a specific genre of game or music you'd like me to test out with either of these two headphones, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. The A6 Pro, on the other hand, they are definitely more tuned for gaming. I find the gaming aspect of this headphone to be slightly more enjoyable than the David Pro. But this serves pretty well for music as well. If you only want to get one of them, okay, and you mainly game, I recommend these over the Deva Pro if wireless is, uh, is not an issue for you. And finally, I want to thank you for watching my video. Please hit that like button for me if you like the video. Subscribe to my new channel to help my new channel grow. Have a great rest of your day, and I hope to see you in my next video.